Sharing my experience with the 9010 MedBed, I uh, just want to say that even before I started, I was very, very excited to start and my heart was beating really fast even before I activated it. Not in a medically problematic way, but I was just excited. So I, I just calmed myself down a little bit before I started. And when I was feeling calm, I activated it. I, I just said, activate, uh, 9010 MedBed, activate. And then uh, soon after that, I started the scan, but immediately, up, even before the scan, when, when I activated it, I could immediately feel energy like tingling, tingling, really nice uh, warmth, not horrible heat warmth, but just very comforting, gentle warmth, like throughout, like just blanketing me. And I could feel tingling, uh, spiraling up from my feet, upwards, my, uh, up to my legs and at my crown chakra and as well as my third eye chakra. And it was, it was a really, really nice sensation, just feeling blanketed and, and very loved and very safe. It was, it was just the most gorgeous feeling ever. Just ultimate, like just complete, uh, love and safety and, and comfort. And even the heat, it wasn't, it wasn't like a nasty, uncomfortable kind of heat because I live in the tropics, so I know all about <laughs> comfortable heat. It was just very gentle and very reassuring. Um, not quite sure how else to describe it. So I started the scan and I was already very, you know, excited and looking forward to, you know, whatever the, the experience was going to bring. Like I, I knew it was going to be, it was going to be awesome, whatever happened. And I started the scan and I remember thinking before I actually activated the med bed, how am I going to know when it's, when the scan is done and when I can actually start giving the commands. And I thought, okay, I'm just going to wing it and go with gut feel. I mean, you know, just, just try. So I did that. I, I gave the, the command to, to scan and it immediately, like, again, like I could feel like sudden things happening, like energy, like tingling, pretty intense sensations uh, at my knees, at my wrists, and those have been a bit sore because of uh, exercise. So that was, I mean, I knew stuff was happening, like I was very, very aware of it. And the most amazing and unexpected thing happened actually during the scan, or maybe it was after, I don't know how long the scan takes, but almost immediately after I, I said, scan me, it... I got this really amazing um, vision. I just went on this really, it was like a very intense, very, very gorgeous uh, meditation, like a very, very deep meditation. So I saw this like really beautiful rainbow tunnel. And mind you, I've seen this rainbow tunnel before in, in meditations, uh, but but it takes a lot of doing <laughs> to get there. This was just like like that, right? And, and I saw, after the rainbow tunnel, like I saw the cosmos, I saw like stars. I just felt very, very connected to everything, every everything in the universe. It was such an amazing feeling, and then surprise, I actually I met some some souls, very very important souls to me, like star family, from from very very far away not not incarnated on this planet and I, again i recognize them because i have seen them i have communicated with them in, in other meditations right and i just i felt a lump in my throat because it was it was really like they were right there with me it was it was crazy like even in all like whatever meditation i've done before you know it, this didn't even come close it didn't come close to this Right. And, and so they were there and they were just very happy for me. And it was just, I cried. I mean, it wasn't, I wasn't sad. It was just, there was so much emotion and just this amazing sense of just being so loved and so held and so, so seen, you know, and I, it was just so amazing. And I thought, wow, if this is just a scan part, what, what what's the rest of the eight hours going to be like, man? Wow. Okay. So uh, when well, I was just kind of hanging out with my star family for 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 a while, and when when I got the sense it was time to to give the commands, I, I did um, as as was given in the suggestions to keep a small light on so I could actually see um, the list of uh, commands requests that I'd written down for the ninety ten medbed to to work on. 
um, or to prompt my subconscious or conscious to work on, I guess, because it's self-healing, right? So I did that and I read off from the list and I was very, very specific. I had uh, some things I wanted to work on in the physical plane, which were, those were more to do with my thyroid um, because I have an underactive thyroid. Uh, I'm not sure how out of balance it is at this point, but I am still taking medication for it. So um, I, I, again, followed the suggestion of, uh, you know, not using any negative language and making the request as if it's already happened. So instead of saying, I want a healthy thyroid, functioning thyroid that's balanced, I said, I have a healthy functioning thyroid, right? And I haven't gone for a thyroid test or anything yet. It's, it's been like less than 48 hours, I think, at this point. So anyway, so that, that was uh, mostly what I worked on for the physical stuff. And it was a thyroid and I guess also balancing my, my metabolism, which had come up in a bioresonance scan previously. That there was a bit of metabolic dysfunction there, probably related to the thyroid, maybe, maybe not. So I just kind of threw that in as well under the physical stuff. Uh, but what I really wanted to work on most of all was the emotional and uh, to, yeah, to a large extent as well, spiritual healing, because I... I've had quite a lot of developmental trauma in my life. I have three abusive family members, one of which uh, thankfully doesn't even live in the same country as me anymore. But there's two that are still like, um, I can't really avoid them. Uh, so it's like a constant trigger. And while I'm in therapy to, to cope with this and, and to manage it and so on, um, I've, I kind of got the sense for a long while that this, this was not just a this life thing that whatever the situation was now and in the past in this lifetime with these family members who were emotionally abusive was it was something that had there was some entanglement from past life some kind of like past life stuff to to be resolved and that was a very strong sense so I asked quite quite specifically uh, to to heal from from the the traumas and the emotional abuse from these family members, not just in this lifetime, but also any previous lifetimes involving involving these souls, and I also requested it on all timelines, all parallel dimensions, because I mean I don't know if the me in other timelines has access to a medbed, so I might as well do myself a solid, uh, and that's why I did. And so that was it for the emotional stuff. I think it was also, uh, yes, I also requested for to process and let go of like a lot of anger and rage from, from all this trauma, all this stuff happening to me. That spanned from early childhood all the way up to adulthood, right? That That's quite a lot of stuff going on. So that's what I um, requested. Uh, um, I gave the command to the med bed to work on. And... Then I also, uh, spiritually, I wanted to just kind of repair whatever was happening with my personal like abundance and wealth centers that have been impacted because of, you know, like everything related to this uh, situation with the family members uh, and past events of the family members. So I did that too. I requested for that too. And again, always I just phrased it so that uh, as if it had already happened. So instead of I want to be healed from any traumas or emotional abuse from XYZ person, it was I am fully healed and I have let go of anger because of what happened to me, blah, blah, blah. Right. So that's so I just ran through my whole list. It wasn't a crazy long list. It wasn't like 60 items. <laughs> uh, but so I just ran through the list and then I, I turned off the lights and I, I didn't fall asleep immediately. It took, took a while and I could feel still that same sense of being cocooned. And it was so, so, so beautiful. And I could feel like lots of energy flowing. Oh, and I should add, I also did um, request before I even started uh, the the actual um, command, the activation of the commands. Uh, once the bed was active, I requested for the energy output to be as high as my physical, emotional and spiritual body could tolerate. So it, it did get quite intense at some points. And I just kind of waited to see. I just played it by ear. I just waited to see, like, okay, is it too intense? Do I need to dial it down? And it was fine. Even like it wasn't, it wasn't painful or or unpleasant at any point. I really want to emphasize that. 
I was just kind of I shouldn't have been surprised because I, I was really really anticipating you know like something to happen and it did but yeah it was still like, oh wow this is yeah this is stuff is happening man clearly stuff is happening so I eventually fell asleep of course uh, because I was so 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 relaxed um, the closest feeling I can I can uh, link it to uh, or rather the physical sensation I can link it to is uh, that, that I mean apart from that feeling of love and feeling safe is also you know, if you go to a beach uh, vacation where there's very very little like uh, interference very little electronics or stuff like that it's really quite remote and you're just right next to the sea it's a lot of negative ions in the sea and you know that sleep your first night at that beach location is some of the best sleep you've ever had in your life and that that feeling that 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 kind of strange calming feeling that the negative ions produce, like that's close, not not quite fully what the med bed feels like as you fall asleep, but it's close. Um, yeah, so the, the dreams I had were very, very interesting. I was very, very interested to see what, what was going to happen with my dreams, right? Because I knew the med bed was going to be working on me till about 6 a.m. So, and... Again, the med bed did not disappoint by <laughs> in any means, in any way. It was, okay, so it was like a quest dream, which I often have these quest dreams. And sometimes I don't feel rested unless I've had a quest dream where I'm running around just doing a lot of stuff. I don't know, it's, just, it's a thing that I do. So this was very clearly a quest dream, but... As I woke up and, and kind of unpacked it and thought about it, I realized this was a very special kind of quest dream where I was working with the energies from the med bed to process the trauma, which is not to say that I'm going to skip therapy. Obviously, I'm still going to go for therapy, right? Um, but it, it was very clearly because there were three, three figures uh, in the dream that were, I guess, I, I knew they were dangerous. Right, and it was like in a set in a very big house, and I was there with um with people apart from the the three um dangerous personas. Uh, these people were all very safe. I felt very safe with them. They were very loving. They were very close friends in the dream. Not not anyone that I know in this life, at least. And so we were just trying to like be careful, but we knew we couldn't really avoid these you know shady people, uh these three shady people like at all points, and. We just, we had like adventures in the house, you know, we were running, but I, I want to emphasize, it sounds like a nightmare, but it actually wasn't because I wasn't scared at any point. It was simply a quest, like get from point A to point B. This is just part of the process. It very much felt like a process thing. And immediately when I woke up and thought about it, I understood like this, this was, this was your brain processing some, at least some of the, the trauma that happened, right? So that was pretty cool and so as the dream left off there was definitely some processing that happened because one of the um i guess sinister personas persons in in the dream they they went from being very dangerous and and, and violent to and well prone to violence to they changed their role and instead they served my highest good because they decided to to um to turn over a new leaf and to actually assign themselves as my guardian and that had very similar that really reminded me of how like our anger can you know it can really mess us up or we can repurpose it to to protect us appropriately right but it can get out of control if, if we're not very intentional about it so i i'm quite sure that that dream was about me processing my trauma because you know, as as you would have it, there were three three figures there that were dangerous, and there were three uh, you know abuser, emotional abusers in in my life, in my immediate family. So that that was again, I want to stress like I wasn't scared. It was not a nightmare by any stretch of the imagination. I was not afraid. Like there was definitely dramatic events that happened in the whole like, processing of these three figures in the house in the dream, but I I really wasn't afraid like at any any point, and that's. That was very, very odd, but in a good way, right? So I woke up 
and I thought I just kind of unpacked the dream. I tried to remember as much as I could, right? Because if I don't think about it when I immediately wake up, I just lose it. I, I, I can't remember what happened in the dream. So I just kind of mentally replayed so I could go back and process and unpack what happened. And then I, I almost immediately after that, I, I came upon like one of my family members, um, you know just like in the kitchen right and these are the same like people who you know were responsible for the developmental trauma and stuff and normally i have this like hair trigger rage response like it's not external or anything but just inside it's this it's this horrible i would say rage and anxiety it's like this horrible clench in my stomach uh, that's you know like oh no what's what's gonna happen now what are they gonna do now to me oh my goodness but even though I put in place functioning boundaries to protect myself because, you know, like when I'm in a relationship with them, I can't, I, I, there will be, there will be bad things happening to me. Like, it's just, that's how they are and I can't change them, right? All I can do is change whether I have boundaries or not and I can change how I, how I respond, which was why like I wanted to work on this with the help of the med bed. So... Uh, back to the emotional triggers like I, I noticed that 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 trigger of just even being around them in the same room as them it just I wouldn't say it vanished completely because we're talking about like decades of of really not great stuff happening but it was vastly reduced and I was very shocked because I I was pretty sure that it would take probably years i don't know of therapy to get to this point again not that i'm saying anyone should skip therapy but um it was really really striking to me uh that that was the capacities for for self-healing that could go on and i i do want to emphasize that it was self-healing because who had the dream like the med bed didn't plant the dream it didn't incept the dream in me that helped me process the trauma at least part of it Right, because when I left, there were two, still two shady figures. One had converted to like become a guardian, so there's still, clearly still some processing left to go, right? Um, but that's that's the capacity of self healing, right? That um, my that crazy that really intense emotional trigger uh, response that happened so often every day, like it was it was so greatly reduced. It was and and stuff that would have really um, sent me into quite a heightened, uh, I, I wouldn't say rage again, like, it's not like I'm throwing stuff around. I'm just inside. I'm just like, right. Uh, and, and of course like, feeling anxious, like stuff triggers that would have really been say a nine out of 10 for me in terms of my internal response and, and, and reaction, uh, the day before, like now they were like, eh, maybe like a week four, like they weren't completely gone. Again, I don't expect them to completely go overnight. Um, I mean, it would be nice if they did, but, you know, I have to be realistic too. Um, but that was just from one session. I was really, really amazed. Oh, and I also asked for, I, f I almost forgot. I also asked for, um, in terms of spirituality, I asked for the, the repair of my abundance in all forms, including mental abundance, because I, I knew like on a conscious level, I, I did know that a lot of my energy was going out, including my mental energy to like just staying afloat, being around these very toxic people. And the next day I was like sharp, like a blade, like mentally. I mean, it's not like I'm normally, you know, but I was quite surprised, pleasantly surprised, but it, it was, it was really, really great. So I thought, wow, this is, this is the amount of energy I've been putting out and wasting. This is crazy. So again, it goes back to this. It, it's, it's not like the med bed is a magic wand. Like the self healing still has to happen like in here, right? Like, and you have to want to, I think, and you have to be open to it. I, I'm quite sure that I have, if I had lay down and just told myself eh this isn't gonna work like quantum schmantum it's all mumbo jumbo if i had thoughts like that and i actually believe that i'm quite sure i i would not have experienced like the next days that um extreme reduction in my emotional trigger response um and i was really really crazy crazy good 
So I'm I'm very very excited. I'm I'm hopeful that I can continue using the medbed as part of um, um, I guess the research project which I read about on the page, and yeah, I really I'm I'm very excited for for this to actually reach more people, because I can already feel the difference, physically and very especially emotionally with just just one session. Like there's a lot more lightness. There's a lot more confidence and also a lot more joy. So, yeah, I really, really hope that, you know, whoever's watching this, if you're watching this, I really, really hope you give the MedBed a try because you really have, oh my gosh, you have nothing to lose and you have so much to gain. Like at the very, very least, you'll just have the best sleep you have ever had in your entire life, <laughs> possibly in several lifetimes if, if you're into reincarnation, I, I promise you. So yeah, just go into it with an open mind. And my wish for you is that you you get all the self healing that that you want that you seek, and and that you are very happy and abundant in your life. And yes, for for your highest good and for everyone's highest good. Bye.